rumbles in Kogi government house as Yaya Bello's wife relegates first lady to the ground. Governor said to pick her sister as second wife. <laughs> hey, it seems they happen for this country, but life. I tell you, things that they happen, things they happen. There is a detail, please. Hmm. There seems to be no peace in the new home of Kogi State Governor Ahmed Usman Ododo, the Lord Lugas government house. The information at Metropolis Online Disposal revealed that the governor may soon marry another wife. The supposed wife to be is none other than the former first lady's sister. According to the news bearers, Ododo is under a lot of pressure to get wedded to the sister of the former Kogi first lady. Rashida Bellu, initially believed to be Ododo's latest attempt to please his predecessor and mentor, Yaya Bellu, the rumors now claim that Ododo is being forced into this position. Multiple reasons have been given for the alleged attempt to impose a second wife on Governor Ododo. The first is that Ododo's current and only wife, Sophia Ododo, is not accomplished in terms of her educational qualifications. Therefore, the alleged incoming wife is supposed to fill that position. Another remote reason is to help the former governor, Bello, consolidate his grip on the state. Proponents of this angle argue that Sophia would have to relinquish her first lady title to the new lady much like every other person gave way for Bella's relatives and friends to populate Ododo's cabinet. Bella's cousin, Ali Bello, who doubles as the Ododo chief of staff, is a case in point. Yaya Bello's wife, according to an insider from the government house, is not enjoying popularity even though she is imposing herself on the domestic staffs. The reason is because Sophia is an Ibira woman, unlike Bello's wife, who is from Edo, and the staffs who are mostly Kogi indigents from Ibira extraction give absolute support to the First Lady. On several occasions, the entourage that follows the former First Lady is even more than the governors. She's still displaying the power and authority she has as the First Lady during her husband's reign, not giving the new First Lady any chance, the source hinted. Additionally, there are speculations that Bello is still residing in the government house while Ododo continues to occupy his former lodging. On the one hand, it is alleged that this is because Bello is being haunted by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC and uses his residential suite within Lodlugat House as a hideout. On another, it is supposed to demonstrate his transcendent status in Kogi. And let me ask again, why do we have people moving mad in this country? Eh? Hmm. This this news is from the beginning to the end. It is smell It is smelling up and down. We have a governor. The thing is, <laughs> I don't understand. This is one of the many reasons why God for that reason. I don't care how the advantage is. I don't care how juicy it sounds, as in for you to have a godfather. <laughs> If you have the one that came from the bottomless pit of hate or hell, <laughs> hey, you will know you will know that it is better you walk your way through things than your hand you are there than they hand it over to you and at the same time they will not allow you to even swallow, not even drink water, swallow saliva. Ah uh ah. -uh. Hey. <laughs> So, as we are screaming our lungs for river states, that's, oh, river state people, they never allow them drink water, drop cup. So, Kogi government never allow them to swallow saliva. <laughs> Sorry, but I know the envy you now. Make a carry in a politic, they go front. I can it can never be me. Godfatherism, no matter, I've said it, no matter how juicy it sounds, oh, if you have a godfather, if you and that godfather go fall out, see, they eat, they buy, your own is completely ruined. Because tell me, which kind of smell is this? Which kind of insult to this uh, present governor's wife with that? Uh, because her qualification, who is the, who is she to decide? No, wait, who is she to decide? Hmm. Hey, it gets some people where we say they're not even supposed to become even ordinary compound, compound, uh, what's they call compound secretary or compound president. As in, if you're not there for in you know, inside, maybe inside in a compound, they're not even supposed because 
the way they go is they behave like say them be Jesus Christ. Governor, where your mates they be, if they do it, they go carry their slippers. Now, first day, where your mates your mates they do, if they do, they go knock their slippers, pam pam, as they turn or don't expire, they go knock until they go pam pam pam, they go go their house, go their way. You know, you sit down there because then as they as you come there, you carry your placenta, you plant and there. Ah uh ah, -uh. which kind of smelly as in low life attitude be this? I'm sorry, go get state people. I don't have you guys. River said, I don't have you guys at all. Ah. That he is going to marry another wife and if he is, she's going to relegate like which kind talk the talk just the smell up and down. Ah I what for now? I feel like they do. <laughs> hey. Hey. Anyway, if this news is true, you don't say me, I do I always I go land for if if this news is true <laughs> because the way many of the so-called godfathers are moving, they are moving mad, they are raving crazy. <laughs> So there is nothing that we hear now that I would not first of all believe it. It is later on I say mm, if Nantulusha because I know I see I know doubt again what these politicians can do me doubt here. This crew this story sounded very crazy. I be in a <laughs> Sometimes one needs to carry a verification before believing bloggers because many of them tell lies or add up stories to generate traffic. All the same, if people of Kogi are not comfortable with the actions of the governor and his predecessor, they know what to do. In this country, Nigeria, or are you talking about the Nigeria in mass? Or is it the Kogi now that is inside the Nigeria that is in Pluto? Uh -uh. You know that in this country, eh, there is only one way to do things, and the way to do things is upside down. In other countries, they do things you know, the normal way, but in Nigeria, we do things upside down. There is absolutely nothing could give residents or citizens or indigents can do. I'm telling you, when it comes, is it election? No, be me and you, they rob. Broad daylight robbery. <laughs> we go thank you. Eh? Some dry us, like say, eh? Some dry me and you. Eh? Dry us like stockfish. Some of them, we carry our food and donate. Oh, yeah. Make me sit the end. At the end of the day, they rob me and you. <laughs> Please don't even go there. Eh? <laughs> Somebody is saying what kind of a nonsensical stupidity, my dear. If you ask me, I don't know who I go ask. I do I do not know. I have no clue who to ask. <laughs> go ahead and marry the whole prostitute of Kokist. <laughs> but women are not prostitutes, so are you trying to say the first the former first lady sister is a ah, I no talk am now you talk am. I definitely do not say it. That kind of word is very bad, please. Use something else. Hmm. Kogi state has no governor. I below that he's still governing the state. Eh. To. You see? God for that reason, I repeat. I prefer. I don't know about you people though. If waiting you go give me, you could choke me, I don't go feed drink water. I don't go feed swallows. I got see, hold on. Eh, make her they drink my water freely. They get they day my day. Then say you go give me waiting, I don't go feed they comfortable. Waiting happen. Alright, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen.